The sky looks kind of cool tonight. Hello, everybody. Hey, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you guys for checking out our video. This is how we finish out our weekend. So we hope you guys enjoy. Good morning, everybody. Today's Saturday. Last night, we got a call about a Kia, the power steering on a Kia. So we told them we could go check that today at 11. So uh, we've, we've been up for a little bit. Uh, we've got our Saturday started. Uh, warmed up the beans from last night. The boys wanted some more beans, so they have beans for breakfast. And everybody is good here. Buddy is fed. Ivy is fed. Don't know where the cat is, but everybody's good. Papa was fed. So we're going to get ready to roll out here in a bit. Um, I'm going to take just the tools that I normally would use. Well, what I have left of my tools that I would normally just take to town. Um, we're going to go in and check this ride and then see if anything else comes up. And then we'll, uh, we'll see what's going on after that. We're off, guys. We're checking off into Gallup right now. The boys didn't want to go, so they're going to hang out here. They like to spend their weekends at home. So we're going to go ahead and check this ride. We're going to go uh, run by the church, and if it's not too muddy, we're going to run by the flea market. It's probably going to be muddy. <laughs> probably. It's 40 degrees right now, and the mud is muddy. Are those protesters blocking the street? <laughs> yes, they're gonna get me stuck. Moo cow! <laughs> Go away, cow! <laughs> My cool. <laughs> That's cool, huh? We have made it into town. Mama Bear, your hair looks beautiful today. <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> I love it. We made it into Gallup, so we're uh, making one quick stop at the dollar store before we head over to check this power steering pump. Oh, the nail. <laughs> we're here for Mama Bear's nail. Good morning. So we're here for some super glue <laughs> and a monster, of course. Of course. Mama Bear is doing too much work with her nails. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we're heading up there. I glued it on. <laughs> Mama Bear has fixed it. She's fixed her screwdriver now. <laughs> we checked the Kia, and it is definitely the power steering pump. It's making a squealing noise because it's starting and stopping when it wants to, and it's making the normal uh, buzzing noise from a bad power steering pump. So, we're going to research the part number, and on Monday, we're going to get to that one. Uh, right now... I think we're just gonna probably head home. We're gonna go to the flea market, but it's way too muddy. So we also checked the uh, regulator and stuff again on the taco trailer. We gotta do some work on that and some adjustments, but they're cooking in it right now, so we're gonna do that on Monday as well when we go over to do the power steering pump. Well, we're gonna get some gas, and we'll see if we're gonna head home. So we're heading down this way toward the north side because we have decided that we're going to go check out the flea market. I thought town would be a little busier today because it's the first weekend of the month, but looks like everybody's at home dealing with the mud probably. It's a little muddy, but looks like there's people at the flea market. Oh yeah, touch the mud, mama. It's pretty muddy. <laughs> lucky I changed out of my white shoes. <laughs> yeah, oh very God. lucky. It's so muddy. It's very muddy today. 
Oh no! Go on it, don't we? She definitely should have just ruined your count, my dude. We're here at the flea market, and this is uh, Cody. Hey, guys. How do you pronounce your last name? Yes. Cody Dash, yeah. the sandwich guy. Yeah, selling all the good merch and stuff. Yeah, so. That's cool. Come he's got a lot of videos too that we like. I really like the uh, the native stuff, so he's got a lot of that. But Cody Dash, check him out. Yeah, and subscribe to these guys' channels, what I'm doing right now. Awesome, Red thank light. you. Subscribe. We just ran into Jermonson too, but he was on the call, so we just said what's up real quick, and we rolled by. We're still uh, checking out the flea. One side's really muddy. One side's not so bad. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people here, though. Gallup's dead. Flea market's busy. <laughs> now we are walking out of the flea market. We have to walk around so we don't step in the mud. <laughs> We're going to go around to the turns. Too. Yeah, it's a little bit. Somebody fell already, and uh, I don't want to put it on video because it kind of sucks. But somebody already fell in the mud, so we're going to walk all the way around, and so we're going to... So Mama doesn't fall. <laughs> this is the little ditch that we didn't want to walk across. It's super slippery down in the middle. And we crossed it earlier way up there because there was an ice patch. But by now, there's no ice patch. And we've seen somebody fall really hard. So we walked around. That was a nice little walk. It was nice. A lot of people, a lot of mud. A lot of mud. <laughs> We made it out of the flea market. We had to go north on 9th Street and hit the Comerico stoplight. And now we're heading back into Gallup. The flea market was pretty packed. It sure was. Nobody didn't mind the mud, I guess. Lucky I took some extra shoes. <laughs> yeah, lucky you did. It was super muddy down there. There's still a lot of people there, too. Did it really seem like that many people when we're walking around? Kind of. Some parts did. Man, I really like your hair today. Thank you, honey. Yeah, some parts of it did have a lot of people, and then there were some parts where there was not a whole lot of traffic, but I think it had to do with the mud, too. Yes. Like, one side was really packed, and one side wasn't so much. We did run into Jermunson. We said what's up to him. And we did run into Cody Dayish. He oh, yeah. makes movies, like native movies, and a lot of them I really love. He said the Red Hogan is going to be playing in Albuquerque on the 23rd, on the 23rd and there's going to be two showings and he said to um, check out TicketBright.com or to look him up on Facebook if you want to go check it out. And if you don't know what it is, you can look up the trailer. It, I think the trailer might be on Facebook on his page, Cody Dayish Productions. Yeah, check it out. Kind of cool. We are at Maverick. Normally we go to Speedway. Today we're going to hit up Maverick. We put in some petrol and while I was doing that, Mama Bear cleaned the windshield. <laughs> now the camera will stop um, focusing on the mud spots and it blurs out everything behind it. I still have to check the uh, windshield wiper reservoir box. So I guess we're gonna head home now. Nothing else to do in town. Gotta go home and I'm kind of done with the car at the house. I just can't get it out of the yard. I don't know. Take off when it's, I don't know. The road is still kind of high for that little car. That's why I haven't even taken it down the road yet, even when it's frozen. Looks like everybody was at the mall today. It's a little softer than this morning. Yeah, it's way softer. <laughs> we need some horsepower. Call those horses. <laughs> horsepower. Excuse me. Miss Cozy. Sorry, you gotta 
pick it up. It was nice and dry right there. <laughs> You're looking at me so mean. Watch out. Go. Go on. Go off the road. I'm going at him. He's gonna jump up in your window. No, he's not. Seems a little drier up this way, huh? Yeah. Most parts, anyway. Most parts. <clears throat> trying not to splash mud all over this clean windshield. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 but this is where it's gonna happen because it's really muddy. I can hear my tools in the back. <laughs> that Kia took so long yesterday and it was so muddy and I was so tired. I just threw my tools in the truck and I got in the front. And uh, I still haven't even. I figured oh, I'll do that power steering pump and then uh, I'll put my tools with. And the power steering pump, I need a specific tool, which I have at the house. And we're going to do that on Monday. The road's not even that bad, babe. Right? No, it's right. It's the next hill? Yeah. Yeah, the wheels aren't going the way I'm turning it, so it's kind of... It's definitely slippery. Yes. Oh yeah, right here. <clears throat> the last time I had to push Mama Bear's car, a couple of winters ago, it's right here. This was such a long hill. <laughs> We're just now getting back to the house, and um, I think we had a pretty nice little outing. Yeah. It was nice and quick. We went to town, got what we needed to do done, and then we even took a little stroll in the mud. <laughs> so we're back to the house. Let's see what kind of mess these boys are making. Hmm. All the snow is melting from the heel now. Now our road is getting really bad. Have you noticed the only spot that wasn't melted is where the tree was, the shadow. Butter dog, he didn't meet us at the top of the hill. No. He's sitting over here where it's dry. Mama Bear said her stability track light came on and her brake light came on. So I guess I gotta check the ABS sensors on it again. Something's wrong with it. But we have an extra one because we pulled that bearing from the junkyard in Denver and uh, the ABS sensor was on it. So I just took the sensor off before we tossed the old bearing. Came out to clean the garage a bit. And this car has been done for a bit. We just can't move it because you can see what I was working in when I was doing it. It's finally melting. There's still some ice under it, but. Came in for lunch. What's for lunch, Mama? Spaghetti. Mmm, spaghetti. Mm. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday. Today, it's going to be me and Mama at church again. So we're going to go head in, and then we're going to come right back out. We don't have anything going on. Last Sunday was a little too much when we worked in the afternoon because we worked all week and then Sunday and then all week again. So I think we're going to come right back today. Mama Bear look extra pretty today. <laughs> Thanks. So we're getting ready to roll and we are off. No cows today. No livestock at all today. But luckily, it looks like some of the spots on the road are drying up where it's been driven on the most. Unfortunately, we still have to deal with some of the ruts. Oh my goodness. Like right here, so these ruts are pretty bad. We can feel the bottom of the truck scraping right here. And if we go out of the ruts, the mud is worse, it's slippery. Oh, easy killer. We're going sideways. Yeah, we are. Okay, now we straighten that one. <laughs> We are here you at church. <laughs> we made it on time. My mom is here with us, so that's gonna be good. We're gonna head on in and we'll get back to you guys in a couple hours. And we are done with our sacrament meeting. <laughs> Wonderful meeting, as always. Yes. This was first Sunday, so it was testimony meeting. So members members of the ward were bearing their testimonies throughout. Yeah. 
I love hearing everybody's testimony. Pretty soon, Mama will be up there. I'll go up there. <laughs> I've done it a few times, but my when I bear my testimony, it seems to... Actually, when I give any kind of talk at the church, it seems to roll out, and it's like, you have seven minutes, or you have 12 minutes, and the content really comes out to, like, 25 minutes, so... <laughs> so it I gotta, take up the whole I gotta hour. Keep it, I gotta keep it short. <laughs> I have to keep it concise when I'm up there. I just have so much to say. I do, too, but... I'd probably cry, <laughs> cry through most of it. That's why I tell everybody, like, Brandon's gonna come up with me and he's gonna be my translator. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We all know Pam has a really huge heart and is super sensitive, so. That's exactly how it would go. Yeah. We were with my mom at church and my niece and her boyfriend, uh, they came with my mom and we invited them to church, so hopefully next week they show up. And I'm trying to wait for the perfect time because my niece is almost an adult. Like, she's an adult in the sense that she's got a job and she does a her car, school stuff. She has her work. own vehicle, bills, whatever. <laughs> but legally, uh, in America, she's almost an adult. And she's with her boyfriend. Um, they're starting to, like, live life and, and do normal life things, job stuff, car stuff, deal with normal car problems, whatever, life problems. So without her dad here, my brother, he's in Phoenix, so without her dad here, I, I'm waiting for when, when is the right opportunity for me to do what I think is right as far as talking to both of them about things that need to be talked about because uh, I don't think my mom, my mom, my mom's not, my mom can't do that right now. And my niece really needs somebody to sit down with them and talk to them. And I'm not saying that she's irresponsible. She's super responsible. So it's not, she's um, very it's not, it's not anything I'm worried about. It's just something that needs to be done. And I need to figure out when it's my time as the uncle to just kind of talk to them a little bit. So maybe next week, maybe this week, we'll see. I just need to um, talk to him and them a little bit just about the things that I never learned when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. And I thought that I had a pretty good upbringing and it turns out that I kind of did, but it was like um, only half of it. I didn't learn anything as far as compassion or um, empathy love. or love. <laughs> I learned how to be good at whatever I'm doing except loving someone. Sensitive. So maybe we'll... Uh, talk to them sometime this week but we're over here at Golden Corral we're done with church and my niece Amy was telling my mom to uh, have breakfast for us to have breakfast with them so here we are Yay. oh man that was such a good lunch <laughs> or breakfast brunch that was a good brunch. brunch that was awesome thank you Amy thanks Amy my mom <laughs> said to go meet them over at Wally World too so we're gonna go head over there or follow her we're gonna go follow her over to Walmart real quick I'm super full now <laughs> we have made it to Wally. We are heading in. We lost my mom somewhere and Amy, but we'll find him in there, I guess. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> we just left Walmart. There are a lot of people there. A lot of people. So we were in there quite a bit with my mom and my niece. We ran into Nicole. I'm glad to see Nicole's doing okay. I worry about her a lot because we don't see her all the time. And uh, we ran into a subscriber, Aaron. Thanks for coming up and saying what's up. Thanks for subscribing, Aaron. Thanks for Thank watching. You. Thanks for the support. And um, we generally just walked around Walmart and picked up what we needed to pick up. My mom got a bunch of stuff that they needed. And she bought JX in a, uh, a popcorn <laughs> a maker. Popcorn so he's gonna be really happy. She said that was for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Valentine's Day is Jackson's unbirthday. So it's the uh, the other birthday that Jackson has throughout the year. And <laughs> it's really Valen's birthday, so it's Valentine's Day. But he always wants cake, gifts. Gifts. <laughs> so. 
it was a pretty nice outing to Walmart this time. There were a lot of people, it was a little stuffy, but it is what is to be expected. So it wasn't any worse than what we expected, which is a good thing. Mm. Yeah. And um, yeah, so now we're getting ready to head back to the house. She bought a bunch of grub for the boys, snacks and stuff. Um, we just haven't seen my mom in a bit and we've been trying to help her out a lot. So when we showed up at church, she actually gave us a box of stuff for like cupcakes and stuff for the boys and just normal things that that she likes to buy for us a bag of flowers and potatoes so we went to walmart and she was trying to tell us like get this get that we're like oh, uh, man, oh, no, no. i couldn't so get anything we just grabbed a couple of things the boys might need meat potatoes more potatoes chicken um, chicken so thank you very much mom a microwave Love you. and she she got them a microwave she i would say she got us a microwave but we actually really need it for the boys so she got the boys a microwave <laughs> so thanks mom love you thanks betty All right, folks, we have made it back out to the res. Oh, uh, we get enough to the adult road. We got I have no idea what these kids are doing. Uh, we need stuff. But Mama's in here working on a couple of things. She's got some mac and cheese, mac and mac and cheese going. And she's got some shake and bake going. We seem to really like this. Shake and bake chicken this time. Shake and bake chicken? Nice. That's going to be awesome, huh? Yeah. That's the last time I made shake and bake chicken, I was... Okay, then I'll Okay? Did I ever make it? Um, nope. I made it for school one time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't tried it, so it's going to be awesome, I'm sure. We had a long day today. We just made it back. We got everything put away. Um, we got the microwave set up, of course. We got the food put away. The boys are happy. Um, we've been trying to see what to do this evening. I've been going back through comments and stuff um, and emails. So we're going to have the uh, missionaries come over in about an hour and a half. So we're going to get it real quick and then we'll see what lessons are when they come over. It is time for dinner here at the household. Tonight we're having shake and bake chicken. Chicken. This looks good. No, it's not country fried chicken. How was you guys' day today? Good. Good. This chicken is so juicy. Oh, Super soft. Tastes delicious. I really like it. Kind of awesome. Some soda? Mm -hmm. What kind? Me and this dude. We're uh, trying out his popcorn maker. It is great. I'm glad I'm today. So we've got it good to go. We have pre-read the instructions. <laughs> we put the popcorn in there. That was the size of this. It says that um, to put the butter in here, but the butter that we have is this butter. So we're gonna pour this on the popcorn afterwards. But for right now, we're gonna pop this popcorn. Hit it, Jackie. Come here. Let's see how this works now. Let's position the bowl right here. These guys are watching the popcorn. Look at this bowl of popcorn we got. It's a big bowl. That was kind of quick too. Uh, 
We've been having problems with the ABS and the uh, stability track light comes on every now and then when it gets muddy and then when it thaws out, it uh, chills out. But this time the light came on and now it's not going off. So when I look at all the mud in areas here, I can only imagine what it looks like behind this rotor way down where the uh, ABS sensor is. It's a wheel speed sensor, so it's for stability track, traction control, and interlock brakes. But this mud looks pretty bad. We gotta go take it in and hose it down today, I guess, even though it's gonna get muddy again. Cause this is what our road looks like still. Well, this is our yard, but the road looks worse than this. Looks like it's still frozen on top. Yeah. Hey everybody. Hey guys. It is late on in the morning. We are still here at the house. It is Monday. Today's parent teacher conference is day. So we've been hanging out here at the house all day. We had a visit this morning from uh, animal control. So we were taking care of that and uh, answering questions and this and that, whatever. I found out uh, apparently there's a leash law uh, on the Navajo Nation. So they want us to tie up our dogs. Like we have all this land and uh, they want us to tie our dogs to like a tree or something. Kind of sucks. So uh, we're going to take off right now. We're going to do three parent-teacher conferences, and then we're going to go check a heater down on the east side for one of the people. We're going to go check a rental. Hopefully it's something simple. It's like a filter or whatever, but we'll go check it out, and then we're going to go uh, see what else is uh, going on for the rest of our day. <laughs> you ready for a parent-teacher conference, son? Yeah. Starting to snow again. You can't even see the Twin Buttes. We are headed to town. <laughs> We're getting down this road. Most of it is okay. There's a couple of spots using those little dips where uh, it's holding water. Those are the spots that are getting bad. And our yard, because nobody's driving around our yard. Our road, because there's like a hill and all the snow is melting, so it's going on our road. Yes. So we're heading. In the past couple of episodes, we've actually had a couple of people come in and ask, why is Mama Bear always driving? <laughs> Again? <laughs> you have to dress up again? <laughs> so, um, the first comment was commented, and uh, I think when I answered back the comment, I put a list of the reasons why Mama Bears seems to be always driving in the videos. And uh, um, after I read it, when I went back like a, a couple days later, it kind of sounded like I came off as, you know, a little bit of being a punk to the guy. So, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to come off like a jerk. But I was just letting you guys know that there was a multitude of reasons. There are a multitude of reasons that the reason why Mama drives. One of them is uh, it's her truck. Usually when my car is fixed, I drive my car. Um, if I have my Suburban running, my, I was driving my Suburban. So whenever it's her ride, usually she'll drive. Two, uh, when Mama Bear is driving, I am either going through comments from YouTube or I'm getting back to filming. emails <laughs> or I'm filming what's going on in the vehicle what we're doing out of the vehicle and um, usually if we're just driving I don't have to do uh, we're catching up on scripture studies so a lot of the times when I'm filming it seems that mama is driving but if you guys We'll go back through the episode to notice there are a lot of times when we're in town and then we just go straight home or there are times when we just end up in town a lot of times those are the times when i'm driving because i don't film and drive and a lot of times when mama's riding shotgun that's the only time she ever gets to get on her social media or to look at her phone or to text her mom so i don't want to add her filming to whatever she finally gets to do because when we get home right away she takes care of the kids she takes care of the dogs she takes care of dinner her dad and uh all the way till the evening when she's tired so when i drive and she's on the passenger seat that's when she gets to get on her phone and and get back to what she needs to get back to or the people that she needs to get back to so i'm not going to ask her to film while i'm driving so it might seem like she's always driving but sometimes i drive and uh, a lot of times if we're going anywhere um, if it's going to be a far drive, Albuquerque or whatever, I'm always going to ask her if I should drive. But I think it's just because she knows I'm going to be sitting here with the laptop and my phone going at the same time, clicking away. She is always just going to say, yeah, I'll drive. 
and if I'm not getting back to comments, I'm usually researching what we're doing. So the database in my head for automotive stuff is all of vehicles I have worked on before. So if something new comes in, a lot of times I'm gonna have to do a lot of research. And it's not just looking at YouTube videos to figure it out. I do a lot of research on computer systems for specific vehicles, on um, train systems, a lot of things that would help me determine what the problem is. Not what the sensor says when they scan it, but when the sensors tell them something in the scan tool, I take that and I take it apart and put it back together until I figure out what the codes are telling me is wrong with the vehicle. So a lot of times, that's what I'm doing. Mama Bear, she likes to drive her ride. And, uh, and eventually- he's always working. He's always doing something, like he just got off work, he just fixed the car, and I'm just gonna be like, far away. I just want him to relax, you know, after his work. I just want him to sit there and chill while I do all the driving, while I take care of the boys or whatever is going on. <laughs> And um, eventually, we will get a mount for the windshield for my phone. And if you guys saw in one of the previous episodes, my tripod is getting busted, so I had to use bailing wire to fix it back. <laughs> so I used a bailing wire, res rigged it. So you can tell that um, I am not in the market right now to be looking for windshield mounted um, holders for my cell phone while I'm recording. Even though I know it would help, it would help create better content. Uh, I just, I can't get that right now. I haven't got one yet. So, in a nutshell, that is why it always looks like Mama Bear is driving when we are on video. We're here at the school. We're here for the uh, parent-teacher conference. So this is going to be pretty good. We never really have any problems here with um, any of the boys' school stuff. So they're all pretty good about doing their work and what they need to be doing. So. We're going to head on in and see what's up. I'm trying not to track my res mud in here. <laughs> but there's already mud in here. The boys have ran off to the playground. <laughs> we, uh, we were going to come in and see Jackson's teacher at 2, but without notice, she has taken her lunch between 1.30 and 2.30. So we're going to wait a few minutes and see if she shows up at 2.30. And while we're waiting here, look who showed up. <laughs> we're here with Warren. He showed up. <laughs> and Sue. Hi, we just had a nice little conversation again with Warren. It's always nice when we run into them. And uh, anytime we want, we can just go to their house and stop by and say what's up. But it's always like we're so busy. But at the same time, like anytime they want, they can come out to our house. Except our house is muddy and he drives a charger. <laughs> so pretty soon, hopefully, just some um, early in the summer, we'll set up a barbecue. And uh, I want to do it at the Even house. Just but dinner. like I was just thinking, the dinner would be nice, you know. Oh yeah, with them. I was uh, I was gonna get to like saying we wanted to set up a barbecue like at Fort Canyon or somewhere or Playground of Dreams to where we can call Shane and probably Mr. Ryan if he's in town and probably little Resi and probably spend like three, four or five hours at the park so we can let oh, people know cool. like, hey, we're here at the park if you want to come meet and greet whatever impromptu. Like I'm sure we can get a lot of people to come over and hang out a bit. But that would be a cool video. So I guess stay tuned for that, I guess. We'll figure that out because we've been talking about it for, for a week or two now. It's in the works. Yeah. We were just talking to them about another tattoo, Warren's tattoo. And um, we've we've always, we've heard of acorn stew or acorn dumplings. <laughs> and when we first heard of it, we didn't really know what it was. Um, I thought it was like acorn squash. I, I had no idea what it was. That's what I thought but it was. They said it's um, ground acorn and it sounds really good. So like acorns and nuts. Like an acorn nut. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So I guess we're going to, um, whenever we get to the tattoo, the day before we do the tattoo, um, Sue said she's going to make some acorn stew or acorn dumplings. So we can try that for the first time ever. Okay. We're over here at the school and uh, for the parent-teacher conferences, they usually hook up some grub. And uh, it actually isn't even that bad today. It's not usually bad anyway, but here's the two boys. And we're going to munch right now. He likes Mm-hmm. Check out these tacos they hooked it up with. And they gave us yeah, some uh, hot sauce. Oh, oh, some picante oh, sauce. Churro. Uh, and cool thing was, you see how we got ground beef in these? Uh, they were actually really cool and they put some pinto beans in Mama's tacos Yay. instead of beef. 
little things like that we really appreciate, especially because Mama tries not to make it a problem or a big deal that she's a vegetarian. <laughs> so whenever we go anywhere, she doesn't tell anybody. If they just serve food, she'll eat around it. And uh, if we need food afterwards, she'll go and get food afterwards. Yeah. So he it's kind of cool. So. It's kind of cool that um, like when I when I ask sometimes, it's not to be a punk or to be special about it. It's just that Mama Bear doesn't eat meat, and a lot of times she'll just skip lunch and uh, we'll go somewhere else. Like we'll go do what we need to do, and then she's hungry when we get home. So in this case, she doesn't get to skip lunch. Yay. She's gonna eat like the rest. <laughs> the only thing she's missing is sour cream. Yeah, sour cream. How's your grub, boys? Good. I made a burrito out of the taco. <laughs> That's cool. We got done with our portion of the parent-teacher conferences. So now, we are here with Warren and Sue again. This is going to be their uh, Mexican food review at the school. <laughs> Man, when we were growing up, we didn't have tacos like this at school. Especially with the taco sauce. And, and they got churros too. The beans actually look like that they've been uh, cooked by somebody. They weren't just out of a can. They weren't out of an ice cream scoop. <laughs> yeah, and I like that the uh, ground beef is not half TVP like Taco Bell. It's actually ground beef. Got a churro right here. <laughs> mm. and that's how Warren eats a churro, guys. That's good. <laughs> he eats it's not it. a hot dog. He eats it like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try the beans real quick. I eat it sideways. I just eat it sideways. Beans is better than the Anthony's. Mm. I believe that really? too. Mm -hmm. These beans <clears throat> taste like somebody cooked it for their grandkids. Mm. Let me try this taco real quick. It's <laughs> like a flour, ground did you, beef, Did you put the hot tomatoes. sauce on it? Yeah. We didn't even get hot sauce in school when we were kids. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, well, ground beef taco with flour tortilla. They give us hot sauce mm -hmm. for the burritos. I had a pretty good uh, taco, and uh, it was iceberg lettuce, so of course you get the white parts, but this this was kind of cool. There wasn't a whole lot of white parts in there. The cheese was normal cheddar, but it's the cheddar that was pre-shredded in a bag, so you can feel that there's an anti-clumping um, agent compound meat? on there. Well, it looks like, tastes like beef. I don't know. Yeah. Warren thinks no, it's turkey. Gonna be. <laughs> but you know what, this meal, for this, um, Taco Tuesday is really good. I was asking Jackson, is this the tacos you guys eat at school? I was telling him about this time when I was in the Navy and we had uh, our 2003 cruise. So when we got back from doing war stuff, we were coming back to the States. And in San Diego, all the service members can uh, fly their families to San Diego. They can ride the ship from San Diego back to Seattle. And uh, I was telling Jackson, man, actually I was telling Pam and the boys, when, when we were eating food during that week. It was the best food I think I've ever ate on that ship. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming all the families just think that that's how we eat. The sailor's family. But well, you the know what's better? <clears throat> Is that you put beans on it's your taco. The <laughs> they, uh, they did pams with uh, no meat. They, they put the beans in there for, for a vegetarian taco. So it was actually kind of cool. It was good. 10 out of 10. Come to this school and try out their tacos. <laughs> if your kids go to school, they're eating some good tacos. Yeah, they even get taco sauce. Okay. We are done at the parent teacher conferences for Jackson. So we're going to go head over and cross now and see Draven's teachers and Michael's. But yeah, we had a pretty good meeting. Why am I we, uh, just wearing a sweater? Did this guy Newton? He ran. We had a pretty good meeting. Like Wasn't about it. Two of these ones? Look at that. Two of these blocks? So now we're making our way down this way. In a couple of minutes, we'll be in the school again. So, hopefully, everything goes smooth at this one as well. Somebody's in Draven's class right now, so we're going to let them finish up their meeting with the teacher, and then we're going to head on in and check it out. Along with special treats for two, dinner and breakfast from our garden rolling barn. Here is the EO or sponsor. Stopped real quick so I can take some pictures. The sky looks kind of cool tonight. We are making our way back to the house now. We're almost home. Normally I'd say, I hope the dog's alright. But the dogs are all inside now. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're alright. Michael didn't want to go with us. So he's at home with Butter Dog. And he's uh, got Ivy there too. Hi. 
This is what Mama Bear has whipped up for us. I love it. Jackson wants to make some more popcorn. Last night, me and the boys were trying to find the salt for the popcorn, and uh, look at what Mama found. And she found it right away, too. She already knew where it was. We just didn't want to bother her, but it is. Yeah, that's good. Okay. We finally got the popcorn done. Jackson wanted something a little different on his. All right, everybody. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you guys for watching. And like always, thanks for all the love and support, guys. Y'all have a nice rest of your day. Stay safe and stay warm. Peace.